Hello. So, uh, today, I haven't actually been getting any crap from um, the things I've been baiting people with on Facebook, so I've um, got nothing to talk about. So, uh, I'm just going to stare at the camera awkwardly. No. Alright, so there was a topic I wanted to get into um, because it was brought up recently again with someone that I used to talk to and they, to me, were a very sad person. Um, and funny thing was, funny thing was, um, they said, how are you doing? When we last talked, you were very sad. I remember, I thought you were very sad. I'm, Sorry, what? No. If I was sad when we were talking last, I'm absolutely miserable now. Um, it depends on how you define it, I think. I think, um, some people let things rule them. Some people consider some things sad when other people don't. Um, anyway, uh, so that topic is depression. Um, because this person said so happily, I've overcome depression, yay! And then they said in another message, oh well, I haven't actually, it has its moments. And I was like, it always has its moments. It's depression. Everyone gets it. Um, it's not, a mo it's not, uh, okay, so this is my issue with it, okay? So, it's a shit stain everyone's trying to get these days. Um, because someone started this epidemic to say, well, that just depression, just they just started the whole freaking concept of it. Um, so what people have distorted is the psychologist. Thank you. Um, is that it's they they called it a disorder, okay? And there are legitimate disorders out there, but in any case, a disorder is not a disability. There is a huge difference. For basically, if you want to narrow it down, for someone with a disability, physically or mentally, sorry, a mental disability, there's something wrong with their brain. There is something different about their brain. There isn't it's something wrong with their brain. For a disorder, there's nothing wrong with their brain. They've got a healthy brain. The only thing that most they've got wrong with it is a chemical imbalance. And well, it's the most you can possibly attach to it. The rest is just all completely conscious. It's something that someone themselves controls. And it comes down to what you're going to allow yourself to understand it or evaluate about yourself and um, deny. Um, so my issue is that depression is a privilege. Depression is a privilege of first world people. You don't have depression unless someone tells you you have depression. You only have moments of depression, moments of depression, or yeah, a moment where you just feel down. Like that's it. Um, you don't have depression until someone tells you it. And the problem with it these days is that people have realized they achieve victim status when they've got depression. So as soon as they're told they have depression, they think they have something to cling to. They have a way out of things. They have power. They have status because they now have victim status. And it's not earned. It's, it's because what depression is in first world um, areas is basically a lack of feeling special and that's achieved by the fact that being special isn't that easy um, when you like a lot of people might realize there's not too much that separates everybody really everyone is everything at some point well that's hard to kind of explain um, but everyone's a growing entity everyone is a growing entity so everyone's constantly changing sort of thing and there's, at times someone's always going to come across some sort of emotion and experience and such and um it's hard to differentiate it's hard to say you're different from someone it's hard to say you're better than someone and everyone's trying to be better than someone else and that's the thing everyone likes to stand out everyone likes attention and um so basically what's come from that is a bunch of these younger kids who feel very down about themselves because there's nothing special about themselves. They're not exceptional at anything. So they just feel shit. And then someone tells them they've got depression. And then from there they go, oh, I've got something special about me now. And they just milk it. They milk the hell out of it. And the thing that got me about this person that, um, yeah, messaged me lately is like, people who are depressed don't tell you they're depressed. People who are depressed don't know they're depressed. As soon as you tell someone is depressed, they know it. And they have the conscious... Well, they have the will, well, they don't necessarily have the willpower, but, well, actually, everyone does. It comes down to what you tell yourself you're allowed, what you have, and stuff like that. But, um, 
a lot of people giving up depression is giving up privilege and that's what it is it's it's a privilege um, and so they stick with it and they'll always put it out there they'll say I'm depressed be good to me here be good to me there and they'll say I've had bad experiences and it's like hun so is everyone else okay they just toughened up you're trying to suck the every bit you can out of that to get as much privilege as you can by acting so sullen and sad um, like then there's the people that you when you actually meet somebody who's depressed you see like they're the opposites they're the opposites a lot of the time and then they'll tell you that's a mask no it's not you're enjoying yourself right now and then you're deliberately ruining yourself by changing your mood it's not hard to change your mood um, like yeah I, I myself being a bit of a fitness freak and knowing what goes in and out of me um, I'm very conscious of my mood changes and I'll know why I get those mood changes like mood changes are allowed mood mood changes are natural but when you start trying to call it depression and that it's something that someone is rather than something that someone has it's different it's like you are depressed no that person just has depressed moments that is the difference someone try, starts thinking themselves as an individual as depressed you aren't it's I was in the shower and I was just thinking about this going I should make a video about that and you know I was thinking but as soon as I make that video I'm gonna miss all these bloody points that connect everything but um I've been trying to make the video all day but you know what it, my family's very touchy about the topic so um, I haven't been able to really talk about it and so that's why my voice is a little lower um, anyway um, Yes, my, my brother recently was apparently diagnosed with depression. He's like, what makes him depressed? He is a happy little prick. He might be a prick, but he's a happy prick. And if you try to tell me otherwise, I'm sorry, I did psychology as well. And depression isn't hard to wrap your head around. It's basically just something that psychologists can easily, mo I'm sorry, leech off of these days. It's just a happy little subscription you give them. Like, oh, well, here you go, some happy pills, and I get money. That's all. It's like that. That's the most you can do to like verify your job as a psychologist. Well, not the most, but the most common thing these days to make it look like you're a professional. Like, sure, doing psychology as a professor and um, getting the degree—it's not all that easy, obviously. Um, but in the end, what are they doing? In the end, what do you psychologists do? Not all that much. Um, not all that much that everyday people can't do for themselves um, it just comes down to authority figures and when you get told by an authority figure it's different it's like oh well no someone who's a professional on it told me this and that but the thing is the professionals aren't there to help you they'll tell you but they're not doing it in the most effective way they're not giving you the hard freaking bash of reality they saying here's some pills work through it slowly and the thing is, what that does is it works someone into believing that they are that miserable and pathetic that they do work through it slowly and sometimes they're not effective because of that. Sometimes they're just got to be told, toughen the fuck up, you little shit. <laughs> if I want to, if you want to have problems, I'll send you somewhere where people have got problems. And uh, I love this because I'll tell people that. I'll say, if you've got depression, why don't people in third world countries who have actual life struggles have depression? Um, and they're like, well, you think that just because they live in a third world country that they don't have depression? It's like, yeah, they might have moments of, they might be depressed, but you know what? They're happy with less. They're happy with less. And that's the thing. You have the privilege of not being happy with what you've got. So you're constantly aiming for higher and you're only getting this or lower. And that's why you're unhappy, because you're like, oh, I don't have the privilege I want to have. Oh, didn't. Um, and yeah, it's like, mainly it's mainly it's a girl thing. You'll notice mainly little girls have depression these days, and everyone will say, oh, I've been diagnosed. Um, and it, it's a lie. It's Most of the time, it's a lie. And it's it, you, so many people do it for bloody power. And it's so fickle. And there is actually disorder that is where someone will fake having a disorder that's a disorder so if that doesn't tell you how bloody fickle it is any disorder it's, I don't think I don't know what will you're, you're denying something if you don't see that um, but yeah depression it is a construct of 
first world societies because it's power it's power in this society it's power it's something you earn for doing nothing and you'll say oh cutting yourself isn't doing nothing is doing nothing is it cutting yourself is bloody nothing i've done it it's couldn't see it for a second um it's the lighting um it is nothing it's really not that hard you want to know why i did it not for myself because someone else was cutting and i said stop being stupid the deeper you cut the deeper i cut and it stopped them took two cuts but it stopped them you might be an arsehole now but um at least they stopped <laughs> um and anyway so it just infuriates me so many people who lead out with the i'm depressed line be nice to me and it's like a depressed person wouldn't say that if it was an actual depression if it was something wrong with your brain it would be classified as a, as a disability not a disorder and you wouldn't be coming straight out with it <laughs> you wouldn't be no one who has deep dark actual problems voices out about it easily and comes out with saying I've got this they're expecting it to be questioned and if they're not expecting it to be questioned questioned they're expecting to be um, catered for and my house said it was already a girl thing that people do that girls are catered for enough you don't need to get the extra bits seriously you're sucking us dry um, how hard we have to try to put up with girl shit let alone their extra shit Ugh. You're just excuses for being crazy. Excuses for being crazy. That's all the time. Like, I've watched... Before I did this, ages ago, actually, I wanted to make a video on this. Um, I actually looked up on YouTube, like, clinically depressed and what is depression. It's like, I, I already know, but I wanted to see from depressed people's opinions and depressed people's opinions. And a favourite one of mine was someone who was so deeply depressed apparently and diagnosed as such admitted yeah sometimes i've used it to get things that i want if you've done that at all if you have done that at all you you've lost your argument you've lost it because you have complete control over it you're just sap sucking it dry that's all you're keeping it for the fact that it is a privilege it gives you power for freaking nothing all you have to do is accept and so on and like someone's trying to tell me I'm depressed before and like this person I was talking to that made me think about this topic thought that I was depressed at the time I wasn't depressed, no I wasn't, I didn't have depression sorry, I might have been depressed, I might have had thoughts that were characteristic of being depressed it doesn't make me depressed like you know as in having depression I did not have depression, I was depressed there is a difference, I want to differentiate that having depression I believe to be a myth, being depressed is not a myth. Being depressed is natural. It happens to everyone. Stop trying to feel special that it happens to you. And it really, the people that try to say they're trying to recover for it, it really comes down to what you focus your mind on, what you're focusing on. If you're delving into all your dark thoughts or whatever and you're keeping them there, that's your doing. It's not a matter of you not being able to come out of it, it's a matter of you not allowing yourself to come out of it, and that's your fault because <laughs> there's a big world out there and it's easy to distract yourself and just change course and make yourself happy about things now some people have had experiences that are really yeah depressing like and constantly like they will bring you down a lot I've had moments where um, I've been depressed for days weeks even um, but it's not it's never a constant feeling it, it does dim everything over a while but um what I've just done is actually, is I've, I've just watched Red Dog, and I remember the first time I watched Red Dog, I cried. I don't like being emotional. I hate how movies somehow do it to me, because I, I, I don't mind it when I'm watching myself, but when I was watching the first time, I was with my grandparents, and I'm sitting on the chair close to TV, and when the credits roll, I'm crying, and I'm just I'm, I'm sitting there, waiting for the credits to go by, so that when I turn around, the crying's gone. But, uh, yeah, so, trying to pretend that didn't happen. And then just now, I was watching it came up to the last scenes where like um in the scenes where um if you haven't seen red dog you, you should it's a, it's a pretty emotional movie i'm not even a dog person but you know what it's pretty good um and they have some depressing moments in it right and making me want to cry i wanted to cry and it's like damn it why not toughen this yet 
Um, I've seen this before, I even know what's happening, but it's still, like, even knowing it's going to happen is still working to bloody make you emotional. Um, but anyway, um, a guy in the movie was telling his story of how he lost his wife and daughter to his own doing because he, well, I don't, he didn't necessarily, wasn't necessarily his fault, but the problem was that he survived while his daughter and child did not. And the story was that he escaped out into the, um, more rural areas of Australia to get away from those thoughts, that area, and try to, like, yeah, change his course, and it didn't work for him, and he was just, yeah, stuck in his own head, and, um, he ended up trying to commit suicide, and the story was a dog saved him by throwing in a stake to the water or whatever, because he tried to kill himself by shark, a way to go, um, he thought it was, um, and, like, yeah, that was a really, that would be a traumatic thing. That would obviously dim your opinion on life for quite a while. But then again, at the same time, it depends on what you're focusing on. Even something as dark as that. Um, well, not dark, sorry, but de depressing as that. Something as sad as that is not permanent. It depends on where you put your head at. Um, it's always going to be in the back of your head. It's always going to be moments you remember it, and it's always going to bring back sadness. But that's not a bad thing. Um, you can always get happiness back just depends where you're looking for it. Anyway, um, I think I'm done with that topic. Um, I'm having to talk quieter again because I can hear someone just outside the door and I know their opinion on what I say here is, like many other people, uh, different. Um, anyway, I don't believe in depression. I don't think anyone should. I believe only in depressed moments um, and that everyone else is just people taking advantage of it. Anyway, peace and out.